Don't forget, David. Right. Good going. Finding that girl? Finding people is kind of my job. What is it? Something's wrong. What would that be? He's not the boogeyman. David, let me ask a favor. My neck's gonna break. Hey, quit shaking. Don't you work out at all? Why are you trying to get up there anyway? That big-headed freak. He's always vanishing when there's no way out, and appearing from nowhere, too. He's clearly using routes we don't know about. I need to learn more about them. This wall's been painted over, so I'm sure there's a path up ahead. That doesn't explain using me as a footstool. Climb up there and get your weight off my shoulders. Lance could have worked, but I wouldn't push a wounded guy. And for your information, only 3% of that weight is fat. So excuse you. <coughs> Toss me your lighter. I'll look ahead. Don't move from that spot. Shout for me if anything happens. Dick? Ah! Don't move. You're under arrest. <laughs> Your wifey's got a good butt on her. Really makes me want to chase after her. Where is she? Where? Ah, oh, detective. <sighs> How careless. Trying to take me on in such close quarters. I hate to say such a rude thing to a detective, but not really. Dummy. Keith, my poor darling. You watched me as I wallowed in the depths of despair. And there you stood, with your back against the edge. Now, it's time that you finally learn. You need pride. You need peace. So go ahead. Take it all. 
don't you see? In the end, there will be nothing left of you. Uh, where is this? Who are you? What's going on? Hello, Miss Baring. Who? Call me Boogie, ma'am. I'm about to begin a game befitting such a joyful night. I'd appreciate your participation as well. Run from me, miss. I'm sorry. I don't know what you mean. Where's my husband? Where am I? Why is that man tied up? Ah, he's an assistant. He can quickly explain to you how this will all work. If I should catch you, this happens. <laughs> Understand the rules now? Where's my husband? Somewhere you wouldn't know about. Where's my husband? He can't save you. He's in my grasp. It's up to me if he lives or dies. Now run, Miss Bayring. The game begins, and I am it. So, I was on the inside of the cell? Thanks for the letter. Keith, did something happen? That big head knocked me out cold. What? No wonder you took so long. Are you okay? I could have died easily, but more importantly... No, forget it. There was another corpse. I think one of the servants. Been dead a few months. A few months? Isn't that kind of odd? Yeah, it is. It's not like he got stuck there and couldn't get out. He was clearly murdered with a knife. What a ridiculous place. I never wanted to come somewhere so shady. What about it is shady?
since when are there castles in this country? I thought something was up the moment my boss told me about the castle tour. Then I found out it's the mansion of some European guy from the colonial era, and it's got a history of Native American persecution to boot. You can't open this kind of place to the public. You wouldn't get a tourist trap, you'd get a lawsuit. The tribes that got persecuted here are still around. What was that Brendan guy even thinking? Guess we'll never know now. If you were suspicious, then why did you come? Because Helena wanted to. But had I known it was this bad, no way. I wouldn't want her to learn this kind of bloody history. With a month off, I could have taken her anywhere. But I chose here. And then this happens. So, it was for Helena. You never seemed to pay her much mind, so I thought you didn't even like her, honestly. I wanted to pay her more attention, but I couldn't. My subordinate kept calling so much, I couldn't catch a break. Detectives have it rough. They're still cool, though. I'm on vacation, so I'm just a plain old guy right now. Come on, let's go. Keith, are you going in there? Can't I? Well, uh... Don't tell me you're afraid. When I was a kid, this wild dog chased me around for like an hour. For such a big guy, you're really a wimp. You're more heartless than I thought, David. Is he behind there? Don't mind him. Let's go. Your mother's crying down in hell, you know. Can't you hear your mother's pitiful wails? Why did my dear Davy leave me alone? I don't want to be alone. Please don't leave me alone. Davy, oh Davy. <laughs> Calm down. Don't listen to him. David, doesn't it hurt leaving your mother all by herself? A real thoughtful son. He'd go to be by her side right away. Or do you feel relieved? To hell with that weak woman who always clung to you. Let go. I won't let him talk like that! Settle down. Don't open that door. Let go! You stupid brat! You don't listen to a word, do you? Never listens, never learns. Wants to put your old man through a lot of trouble. What's that? I said your father must have had it real hard with you. Jumping into danger alone, following when I tell you to stay. That's not being a brat, I don't know what is. Say that one more time. So it's not just your eyes that are busted, but your ears too? Or is it your head to blame, getting riled up over every little thing? Think punching me will calm you down, then go ahead.
Let's go. Hey there, David. What are you looking up at? Look down below. David! Ah, I finally got you snared. That detective was a bit too perceptive earlier. Killing you would put me at a big advantage. A critical hit to the detective. Oh, this is getting good. Yes? Exactly. This may sting a bit, David, but not for long. Now hurry, Batman. Robin's gonna be a canary. Stand up, David. <coughs> Don't touch me. Keith. Keith. Keith! Ah! You okay? 
Yeah, I guess. But I think I got a bump on my head just now. Good. You go back to the room. If this happens again, I can't afford to save you. Sorry, it's my own stupidity to blame. That's not the problem. If anything happens to you, I'm the one left with a crying Shirley. Isn't there anyone who'd cry for you? Maybe not anymore. Huh? Still want to tag along? Yeah. <sighs> Do what you like. I'm exhausted.